What's up? Hey guys, how's it going? Evil Zombie here. Today I have something special. I want to unbox and do a little bit of a review on this, the Pow Kitty V90 um, Retro Handheld Game System. So as you can see from the box, it looks a lot like the Game Boy Advance SP, which I have right over here so I can show you that. Um, just look, This didn't have any kind of padding or anything around it. It was literally just wrapped in plastic, like not bubble wrap plastic, just a plain sheet of plastic, and that was taped, and that was it. Waited a couple months for it to arrive. Box is a little dinged up, but not too bad. I got this on AliExpress. Um, I'll include a link in the description below. So the uh, affiliate link for Amazon or regular link for AliExpress. You can pick which one you like. I like that there's a headphone plug, USB port, probably for charging. Oh, nice. I can add my own card. I hope it comes with one. If not, then I will have to add my own. But it's fine either way. So let's jump into this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Move that out of the way. Uh, I can't read. Okay, I can read that. When shutting down, be sure. Okay, that's just instructions. Moving that. Get to that in a second. Let's see if there's anything else. I swear. I can't. It feels like there's something in there, but I can't get to it for. There we go. We got stuff. Not in English. It's definitely from China. <laughs> There's the English. Cool. So I have all the English. Good. I have my charging cord. It's, is that USB-C? Wow, USB-C. I really didn't expect that. Hmm. I'll take that any day. I love USB-C. So here it is. Just, it actually feels pretty good in weight. It's... This is the this is the Pow Kitty V90. And of course, you have the Game Boy Advance SP. I don't have a cartridge in it right now, and it has the expanded battery pack on it right now. So I'm trying to judge the weight based on that. This feels about the same weight, and possibly same quality. Yeah, the plastic is pretty close. It's a little cheaper than the Nintendo, but it feels pretty close in weight. This feels a little lighter, of course, because this is the expanded battery. But I'm sure if I didn't have that battery on there, they'd weigh the same. That's pretty impressive. Of course, you can see the button layout. I actually really love these buttons. That's really nice. They have a good clicking feel to them. How oh, I like that compared to that. Yeah, the buttons from the official uh, game from the official Nintendo system from the Game Boy Advance SP. It I don't know. They have a click, but they they don't have very much travel. I like this a lot more. It's a much more tactile feel. These are sturdier buttons. It feels like a little more plasticky. Um, the Nintendo ones are a little softer overall. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. I'm gonna show you what it looks like next to this. Get all of that crap out of the way. Bah, there. Okay. So size-wise, it is definitely slimmer, a little bit, a little smaller, but it's really close in size. The screen looks like it is just a tiny bit bigger. Which is nice. I like that it has a little tiny bit bigger of a screen. Uh, I don't know if it has any battery. Let me see. Where is the power? Okay. Let me shut that down. Volume off. So now you can see brightness comparison. Like if you have a Game Boy Advance SP, you know the backlight, how it works. This is obviously much brighter. Here's another size comparison. You know that one game console that you see everywhere uh, that says is like a ten dollar console or a ten dollar handheld, and it says five hundred games. That's this one. That's this exact one. Uh, it's up here. So you see the brightness comparison. Okay. This screen is definitely nice. I like I like the Pow Kitty. Wait, wait. Comparison and size. This one's probably a little bigger in size. With just raw screens. Uh, no, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. Oh, yeah, and the button feel. Here, let me turn this off. Wait. Okay. Oh, I can do page settings. Hmm. Okay. So I can go between the tabs at the top with this. I can go by console. I like that. I wonder if it has any games included. And go for super. 
Oh, start, start button? Nope. Oh yeah, okay, so it's A button. Cool, A. And let's see. Super Mario Kart, Mario World. Okay, I'm gonna go for Donkey Kong Country 2. I wanna see if it plays pretty well. I'm just gonna slide that on out of the way. I'm gonna put it up to the microphone so you can hear. Hmm, listen to that. It kind of sounds very tinny, but I also have it up pretty high. From such a small speaker, it's not on par with the original Game Boy speaker. But this thing was a beefy game system. The Game Boy speaker was awesome. It might not even be on par with the speaker from the Game Boy Advance, but it definitely kicks the crap out of the speaker from this one. No, that... After I turn it down a little bit, it actually sounds really good. It sounds really good after I turn it down a little bit. Um, let's just see how well it plays. I move the microphone a little bit so I can lean over my camera and not talk right in... Ah! Sorry. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna jump into this, have some fun. Let's do one player, of course. I have the handheld system. I don't know if these do anything really during this, but yeah, let's jump into it. Aspect ratio seems to be chopping on the sides, but that's understandable. Okay. Actually, it plays pretty smooth. Just gonna run into that. I like it. I know I'm missing stuff, but that's not the point. I'm just to having fun. Oh, and of course I miss. It's also on a tiny screen and I'm not wearing my glasses right now. Whee! No, you will not get me. No, you will not get me. Okay, you got me. <laughs> okay, that works pretty well. How do I get to home? I'm guessing just this. Oh yeah, that takes me to a menu where I can choose to save, I can load. So I can go and I can do states on this. That's pretty cool. And I can go exit and it just loads back up to the original main menu. That's really cool. I want to... Ooh, Zelda. Ooh, Zelda. Start button is that. Okay. So I love how it actually comes with some stuff. I'm probably pretty good. I probably don't even need to modify anything. It has me. What really? Neo Geo. What? Oh, please tell me there's Metal Slug. Okay, I'm good for life now. I don't need anything else. I, this is my life. This is what I do from now on. Basically, right out of the box. You saw me open the box. I mean, the only thing I did was cut the tape in the back. I'm trying to get into autofocus. This is using a phone camera. Doesn't like to autofocus. Okay, here we go. I like Neo Geo. I love Neo Geo. Oh, hold on, guys. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so you can hear a sound. Actually, maybe I can just do this. Hold on. Nope. Yeah. Oh, you guys can kind of hear it. Sorry about that. So, we're just gonna... Oh, it's already playing. Okay. I like this. Oh yeah, I could I could play this way too much. Oh no, I lost it. there he is. I died. Anyways. Go to the start menu. Huh, didn't seem to work on this game. Okay, so some games it does this. Other consoles, I've noticed it does the, like Battle Sarah or, um, what's it called? RetroPie, I have to press both start and select. That seems to work on that console. If one doesn't work, just use the other, I guess. That's what I'm going to be doing. But, yeah, my overall thoughts on that is it's actually really cool. It works really well. Um, my question, to turn off the system... Do I have to do anything special? 
Can I just press that? Oh wait, no. I think there was an instruction on that. Okay, when shutting down, be sure the power option on the settings options to shut down, then turn off the side power. Okay, so I do have to do a thing. Let's f see where it is. Oh my goodness, where is it? I don't know where... Oh, there it is. It's in the tab. You know, the tabs, the top buttons. I actually really like the buttons on it. Oh wait, and there's different skins. What? <gasps> Ooh, I like red. What? There's so many cool things. Oh, holy crap. This is awesome. Okay, where's my red? Where's my red? There it is. I can't read anything, but it's so cool. With my colorblindness, I can't see anything. Okay, I have to go for this one because this one I can actually read really easily with. Skin colors, what? Oh, how do I go out of this? Okay, cool. Figured it out. So start basically goes back every time. Um, we're just going to go out of that. We boot cancel power off. A is down. Got it. Okay, so the feel of the buttons. I want to continue compare. Oh, wait, wait. There. I'd do that, you know? So feel the buttons. Let me see. I love the larger D-pad. Uh, let me compare it. Let's see. It's much bigger than the SP. It actually feels better than my Game Boy one. I really like my Game Boy D-pad. This is an original real Game Boy, original buttons and everything. But I don't know. I kind of like this D-pad more. It actually feels really good. These buttons, I also like these ones more. These are rubber. These are like a soft rubber, the ones on the original Game Boy. On the SP, these are clicky. These are these are nicer. The SP has nicer certain select buttons. You won't act, sure you might. No, they're, they're tactile press, kind of like click, click. They don't have very much travel, but they're indented a little bit, and that feels pretty good. They're very sturdy. This one, they feel the same as the A and B, X, Y buttons. They feel the same. Like, exactly. They're not down, lower, lower down, or anything like that. Is this the backlight button? I cannot remember. But this one's also indented. It's flush with the, the flat surface. This is not. What does this look like, then? Does, does the screen just kind of sit on the buttons? Huh. I think the screen just kind of sits on the buttons. It does close evenly, and it feels secure. It doesn't, like, have any shake to it at all. It actually feels very sturdy, and I I quite enjoy that. It's really nice. That, that mechanism, the, um, the gear... Let's see if you can hear this sound. That's when I'm just doing that. It kind of clicks into place, clicks into place. How's that sound on this? I mean... It does the same thing, but not anywhere near as much of a sound. This is a grindy sound. So that is not going to last anywhere near as long as super freaking high budget Nintendo. <laughs> I wouldn't expect it to. Um, the screen quality was actually really good. It was very clear. It looked great. Oh, I didn't even try out any, um, what's it called? Game Boy Advance ones. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. Uh, looks like Game Boy Advance games do fill up the whole screen. Okay, um, this is Sonic Advance, as you can see. That did not sound good. Some of the games, I guess, will sound better than others. Um, but I just kind of want to jump into a thing. I just want to see how fast it looks. Yeah, just Sonic, go. Let me see how well this plays. Okay, I'll just, I don't know. I have not played this in a long, long time, and I've forgotten, honestly, everything. Oh, no, I want to go that way. Forgot the spring. Okay, whatever, I'll take it. How do I do the... Oh, there it is. 
Wee! Wee! Okay, it actually works for- Wow, I went fast. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I went off the screen. I was going so fast. That's the sonic speed we know and love. Oh, I'm missing everything because I'm just rushing through. Actually, it plays really well. It plays very smoothly. Actually, yeah, it's very smooth. I have like no skips or anything. Oh, no. Apparently it's that one. Okay. Which is fine. Um, the options seem to be different like every single <laughs> emulator. That's what I'm noticing. And then I press start to go back. That's what I'm noticing also. I'm trying to think if there's anything that would really test it to see. Oh, PlayStation. Do we have anything in PlayStation? Do I have Resident Evil? Do I have Resident Oh, I do. Sweet mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. I just want to see what it looks like. Not Superman. Nobody wants to play a Superman game. What the heck? What's wrong with you? How dare you even suggest that? Oh, is it the Japanese version? I'm going to have to replace that. And yes, I legally own all the games I have been trying out. Okay. Biohazard. DualShock version. Can I... Biohazard. Can I change the language? No, I don't think I can. Okay, well... I, th I think that I just can't change any of that. Yeah, nope. That's it. <laughs> it's in Japanese. Well, it was nice to try that out anyways. What? Nope. Not helping me. Anyways, guys. My actual thoughts on this are it's actually really nice. I like it. It works very well. I'm definitely going to replace a few of these files with the English variations of them. Yeah, I see like Rock Man, not Mega Man. Because this is the Chinese version. I understand. I get it, I get it. And it actually works very smoothly. Oh no, I gotta go over here. The, the, what's it called? The actual, um, screen quality is surprisingly good. It's very clear. There. The device itself, it's a little, some of the things are a little shaky, but nothing feels too cheap. What kind of batteries does it have? Is it just standard rechargeable batteries? Okay, so this is easy enough to swap out. It's not like one of those Nokia batteries. That should be easy enough to get extra batteries for. Swap them out if it ever goes bad. That should be pretty easy. I'll look up that later and I'll let you guys know. But so far the quality feels good. Both of these feel very nice. I love the top buttons. Oh, I didn't compare um, these buttons. Um... Actually, I kind of like these ones still a little more. And I'm pretty biased. These, all these buttons suck. Yeah, no. Th this whole thing feels squishy. Every single button. This is the only one that's tactile. Everything else is squishy. Every button on here has at least kind of a tactile feel. These are a little squishier. Not by too much. They're still more tactile. They're still more clicky than, than any of the other consoles. But it feels good. It works very well. It works very fast. I like that. The operating system is easy enough to navigate. Would you give it five minutes and figure it out? Like first, and it comes charged and everything. And it's been in the mail sitting in a box waiting to get here for like a month or two. So <laughs> anyways, my thoughts on this is definitely worth it. It's awesome. This is a great little thing. I'm excited. I think it's hilarious. It just says 64-bit game. It doesn't say the company name or anything like anywhere on the box. Yeah, no, it doesn't say it like anywhere. And of course, I got the red one because it looks orange. And I like Goku. Um, no, it doesn't. Even on the, the description sticker, it doesn't really ah, focus there. It just doesn't really mention anything. There's no labeling for the company on the box at all. Except for there. It's Pow Kitty. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you like this little comparison, brief review, little demonstration of what it can do. You unboxed it with me. You discovered it with me. Um, links in the description below if you're interested. The Amazon ones are affiliate links. 
you don't get you don't tra- get charged anymore. It just means I get a little bit of a kickback. Amazon gives me a kickback if you make a purchase on there. So, no pressure. Anyways, thanks guys. I appreciate you. Have a good one and bye.